remember that glutamate can be converted into GABA by the glutamate decarboxylase enzyme. Now, if that enzyme is not efficient, oftentimes because of stress, excessive stress can, can hinder the efficiency of, of, of that enzyme, then you might pile up glutamate while also having low GABA as a result because you're just not converting it efficiently. Several bacteria in the gut can, can also create a problem. Uh, a diet rich in glutamate, so most fast food will either have MSG in them or L-glutamic acid because it increases the pleasure response. Uh, ready to eat meals, uh, frozen meals, many commercial coffees, but again, they often circumvent uh, the, the, they put L-glutamic acid instead of MSG. So uh, we don't have any glutamate in that. Yeah, but the L-glutamic acid is converted readily as soon as you eat it. So it has the exact same effect. Uh, vaccines, I, I'm not getting into that one. Some studies show that it might lead to higher glutamate level. But you know, I'm, I'm not one of these anti-vaxxers people. So I, I, I'm leaving that one alone. You can do your own research. Calcium especially if the calcium to magnesium ratio is offset, so you have too much calcium for your level of magnesium, then you can also decrease that conversion of glutamate into GABA. Or you can also have, well, that's one of the, the thing, but the main thing is that too much calcium will increase the binding of the glutamate to its receptor. So uh, magnesium is the opposite. It can actually decrease the binding. Just like magnesium can decrease the binding of adrenaline. That's why taking magnesium can help you relax. Because magnesium, by decreasing either the binding of the adrenaline or the glutamate, whoosh, calm the brain down. It whoosh, relaxes you. Okay? Especially magnesium torate or magnesium glycinate because the amino acid being bound to the magnesium by itself has inhibitory uh, properties. And systemic inflammation will also decrease that conversion. So as you can see, stress, inflammation, low magnesium, high calcium, very common in modern society, as well as glutamate in food. So it's not surprising that the modern human being is high in glutamate, much higher than he should be, so much so that it, it exceeds its capacity to convert into GABA.